In this video, I want to make something that I can actually have a fun time using. I want to make something that not just people can build like my other videos, but what people can actually build with limited tools like mine and have it actually useful for them. I decided that Bluetooth speaker is the way to go. Bluetooth speakers are easy to use since the source of the audio doesn't have to be connected through wires. So I start looking at online store for those stuff. But what? They're expensive. 200 US dollars? I'm gonna make it for like 50, I thought then. I've had this thought since I first entered high school, and now, in my second semester, I figure out I'm done waiting and procrastinating. Time to make it now, and so let's get into it. Since I want people to can also make this easily, don't worry, all I did was assembling things. I don't want to go through explaining all kinds of amplifier, how they work, operational amplifiers, Bluetooth stuff, drivers, etc. Those are all subject to another video. This time, I want people to just have fun. I did the woodworking part in a very low budget. And I'm sure most of the people watching this video can make it by themselves. The parts needed for this project are basically just four main parts. First, the speaker drivers of course. I have a pair of them plus a tweeter for the sweet high frequencies so it'll be a stereo setup. Second of all, the amplifier board. So this basically turns the small sound to big sound that are very loud. And mine already has Bluetooth 4.0 implemented in it, so that makes stuff easier. The Bluetooth 4.0 is ready to go as soon as you use the board. And third, the power supply. Of course you need power, so I'm gonna use a 12 volt 10 amp power supply for this project. And last but not least, the MDF boards for the enclosure. Don't worry about the specifications. I will describe all the parts more specifically throughout the video. The very first thing to do is of course I want to make sure everything works. So I plug my power supply to the wall, connect the output to the amplifier's power input, then my speaker are connected to the sound output of the amplifier board. Now I can connect and pair my phone with the Bluetooth and play something and voila, it works. So all I need to do now is to assemble things, but before we go there, let me give you the detail about the parts that I'm using. I'm using a standard $15 pair of car speaker drivers for the main sound, and then I use a rather cheap $5 tweeter for the high frequencies. As for the amplifier, I use this one from Sunwoo Audio. It is an amplifier module with a TDA7492P class D amplifier that claims to be able to supply 250 watt speaker drivers at its core. The sweet thing is, this module already has Bluetooth 4.0 implemented in its circuitry, and it only cost me for like 15 bucks. Then for the power supply, I initially wanted this project supplied with a lithium polymer battery. However, the price for that is extremely high, and I can't imagine using that recalling my budget. So I think for now it's better to just use a 15 bucks 12 volt power supply that also claims to be able to supply 10 amps. And as for the enclosure, I use this 12mm MDF board that I've got from my old unused bookshelf, with some screws and maybe glue to work with them. I started off by making the main body, though I have to say that I'm not the best in woodworking and using only a saw and a file, the process where I cut the boards were very undelightful. And the result weren't that good either, but this will still work. I cut them to size shown here. And for the back, I'm gonna leave the design open for the electronic parts so it's easier for me to let her have access to upgrade the components. And then I make some hole with a hole saw for the driver speakers. Then I smoothen all the MDF's sides and corners, then it's time for me to assemble all of them. It really doesn't matter which one you should screw on first, all I did was just to screw stuff with connections in mind. And now I have my Bluetooth speaker. Now I can bring this everywhere I like, as long as we have a power plug. If you want to do an upgrade however, you can buy yourself a lithium polymer battery with a charging circuit. But for now, I'm happy with what I have. There is a problem with the amplifier though. There seemed to be a recognizable hiss coming out of the speaker. 
the higher the volume, the higher the noise gets. People might say that the power supply noise is what did the problem, but I currently don't have any intention to buy a better good power supply. Moreover, if I try to use a usual mono amplifier, the sound comes out just fine with the same supply. So if I have one thing to recommend, then it'll be to just buy a standard amplifier, then add a Bluetooth audio input next. It's far more powerful and better this way. And another problem, if we need a lot of power, this amplifier module is definitely not the thing. Even though it says it can handle 250 watts driver, it already hits like crazy even with only like 25 watts each. Maybe it's due to the lack of heatsink. All in all, I don't really like the amplifier module I'm using, but I do love my build. So I hope you can make something better after watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content to come, and I'll see you next time.